Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to look at a few scriptures that tell us about the imminent coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We sing so often, Jesus may come in the morning, Jesus may come at noon, Jesus may come in the evening, so keep your hearts in tune. What this is saying to us is that Jesus may come at any time. So there are many scriptures that indicate that Christians should be looking for the Lord to come at any time. We should be, as the song again says, watching and waiting not knowing the time of his coming even allow us to know that we should be careful in watching so a few scriptures today and from those scriptures we will see that we should be constantly looking for the lord to come since we do not know the exact time of this event. Not only that, but we also who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. Romans 8 verse 23 for we for as often Paul says as we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim the Lord's death till he comes 1 Corinthians eleven twenty six. This was written to the Corinthians. It is for us also. This implies that the Lord might come at any time. So he says, even when you're taking your communion, you should remember that he could come anytime. Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 2, for in this we groan, earnestly to be clothed with our inheritance, or our habitation, which is from heaven. What he's saying, believers will be clothed with your glorified body at the rapture when Jesus comes. He says, for we through the Spirit earnestly wait for the hope of righteousness Galatians 5 and verse 5 the hope of righteousness is the coming of the Lord and the glorified body which we will receive at that time he also tells us for our citizenship is in heaven from which we also earnestly wait for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The one who will transform our lowly body. That we may be conformed to his glorious body. According to the working by which he is able to subdue all things to himself the apostle paul again in philippians 3 verse 20 and 21 he says let your gentleness be known to all men philippians 4 and 5 the lord is at hand so as we are talking about his imminent 
coming. We are saying, saints of God, let us watch and let us pray. He says to us in 1 Thessalonians 1, verse 9 and 10. For they themselves declare concerning us what manner of entry we have to have and how we are to turn ourselves to God. You see, these Christians have turned away from serving idols and came to serve the true God. Now he is saying, wait for the Son of God. He is coming from heaven. Him who God raised from the dead. Even Jesus who delivers us from the wrath that which is to come. So God is coming to take his people away so that they will not suffer wrath. Titus 2 and verse 13. He says, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. So he says we must be looking, we must be watching, and we must be waiting. Hebrew 9, 28. What does it say? He says, so Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many to those who earnestly wait for him. He will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. So he is coming a second time. Hebrew 10.37 for yet a little while, and he who is coming will come, and he will not tarry. So from many of these verses, we can certainly see that he is coming. He says, we must be patient, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. He waits patiently for it until he receives what? The latter rain. You must be, I must be patient. He said we must establish our hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. He said we should not grumble while we are waiting. We shouldn't grumble against each other. Lest we be what? Condemned. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. But in 1 Peter 4 and verse 7, he says, but the end of all things is at hand therefore be serious and be watchful in prayer he says and everyone who has this hope in himself he says we must purify ourselves just as christ is pure First John 3 and verse 3. He also tells us we must keep ourselves in the love of God. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. With eternal life. Jude 21. Here are the mercies of the Lord. Jesus Christ himself will return and take his saints away. Take them to be with him. Revelation 3 verse 11 Behold, I am coming quickly. 
hold fast that which you have and let no man take away your crown. Revelation 22 7. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keep the words of the prophecy of this book. God's word is a sure word of prophecy. And he says we are blessed if we keep the words of the prophecy of the book. He says in Revelation 22 and verse 12, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to pay every man according to his work. He who testify to those things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 20. So we know from these various verses that is coming is imminent therefore saints of god let us watch and pray let us wait patiently for his coming god bless you thank you again for watching as we continue to watch and wait and may god bless the new